people never they want to focus on the muscles, but they forget the fact that the stronger you are, the harder you are to injure. Hey guys, my name is Coach Alex and I'm here at Electrum Performance in San Diego and I'm here with multiple time ADCC and world champion Kynan Dvorsch. Today I'm here with Coach Alex to show some of my workouts for you. And we're here to introduce the Modern Jiu Jitsu Athlete. It's a program uh, that will really bring you through some simplified, effective workouts and it's with probably the best example of a modern Jiu Jitsu Athlete. So let's get to that warm up. All right, let's go, get the bump. <laughs> So the white belts can get, gain some strength, huh? Yes. Because one of the motions we're gonna be doing today is very explosive through the upper body, I wanna make sure the shoulders are warmed up. So we're gonna grab this PVC, and I want you to start wide. And what we're gonna do, keeping those elbows straight, is we're going to go up around the head, see if you can bring it down behind the body, and back up. If you wanna make it more advanced after you do a few reps, you can go ahead and bring your hands closer, but it's much more challenging, okay? All right, let's start. So this is a PVC dislocation is what they call it. Good, yeah. And we wanna stay active through the shoulder as we do it. You don't need to overcomplicate it, but keeping some muscle activity as you go through is very helpful. Now, do you feel tight here or do you feel like you can bring your hands closer? I can, I think I can bring a little closer. Nice. It's a little harder. Right? Yes. Good. Now we don't need to progress it a ton. Find one that's a little bit challenging for you, get eight to 12 reps, and do that three separate times. So next we're gonna do something called the world's greatest stretch. And it's a really good name because there's a lot of things that it does really, really well. So the thing that we're gonna start with is we put our hands in line with our foot. So go ahead and get set. Yep, hands in line. Then on the same side arm, we're gonna bring the elbow down to the instep of our foot. Yep, feel that big stretch through the legs. And from here, come up and look up at the ceiling. Try to rotate. Yep. And then for four reps, we're gonna bring our elbow back into the instep and back up to the ceiling. Excellent, getting that full stretch. And do the same thing on the other side. So now line up your hands. And my knee, foot. sometimes it's fine if I touch the knee. Here we want to keep it up so those muscles are active. More mobility than just a random stretch. All right. Yep, so same thing. We're keeping that lower body active and we're rotating. And from this angle, you can really see that we're getting a lot of rotation through the spine. All right, this is a great exercise to work on that T-spine rotation. Excellent, and we'll leave it there. 135 is a good warm up, right? Uh, 135, I think yes. Yeah. So now we're going to get into our first exercise, and that's the barbell high pull. From month one, we were doing a barbell RDL, and if this is a little bit too dynamic or difficult, feel free to stay with that RDL, which is a little bit easier to learn and control. Now, Kynan is really, really good at the high pull. So for him, 135, which we have on the bar here, is a really easy way, a good one for him to start with if we've already done some of those warm-ups. And this will just be an extension of his warm-up. So today we have three sets of three for our working sets. This will probably not be a working set, right? All right, yeah. So go ahead and get three to five reps here of that high pull, and then we'll go from there. Nice. So even though it's a warm-up set, kind of is making sure to move explosively, which is the point of this exercise. We're getting force production, we're getting some velocity, and we're also moving some weight. Nice. So he was able to get a few more reps than our working set, but that's fine because from here, we're gonna make incremental jumps up until we get to his working weight. So we're probably gonna add 10 pounds on each side. Even though he could probably get right to the bar and do this again and move the bar, the point is rate of force production. So to really be explosive, we have to rest quite a bit here. We don't wanna rush into that next one and turn this into more of a cardio workout. We have some conditioning work on a different day of the program. Let's not try to do too many things at once. When we're moving explosively, try to rest fully so that you can move explosively again, even if it's a warm up. So here, between these sets, for warm ups, we're gonna rest about two minutes. For working sets, we're gonna rest three, even four minutes so that we're really moving explosively. 
probably been about two minutes. Let's go ahead and give 155 a try. All right. Now drop it down to exactly three reps. Three repetition? Yep. Nice. Excellent. Real good. How'd that feel? Feel good, yeah. Good? Nice. Good weight. Let's move up to 185. Warm me up. Nice. Excellent. Pretty good for a working set? Yes. Nice. Now, a little bit different than strength exercises. We're not really going for failure here, right? Um, he's still moving the bar explosively, but he's starting to struggle to do so. That's the perfect weight for us to use for a working set. Also note how his hips got in really close to the bar and then he shrugged into the high pull. Again, this is kind of dynamic um, and a little bit more difficult to learn. So try to think of using your bigger muscles first. First, we use the lower body to get the bar here. Once the bar's already moving and we bring our hips into the bar, only then do we shrug into that high pull. So it happens quickly, but the order of operations is use the lower body as the engine first and just follow through with that upper body into the high pull. People, ever, they wanna focus on the muscles, but they forget the fact that the stronger you are, the harder you are to injure. Yeah, cool. That's not a coincidence. You know, the stronger you are, the more intelligent you're training, the less you're going to get hurt. All right, cool. Let's get to that alternating uh, explosive push-up. So the point here is that we just did a lower body intensive uh, explosive movement. Before doing that other lower body movement, we're gonna do something for our upper body so that uh, some of those more relaxed muscles have a chance to get a little bit of a workout in. Let's get to it. Okay, so now we're gonna hit the power offset push-up. Another exercise Kynan's really proficient at. So you're looking at more of a finished product. Again, if this is a little too advanced or we're not able to actually leave the ground, stick with the more strength-based exercise from last month. So he's gonna have that staggered stance, one arm elevated, one knot. And what he's gonna do is as he explodes and leaves the ground, he's gonna switch hands and move to the other side. And we're gonna do four on each side here. Let's go ahead and move nice and quickly. Notice how easily he's able to clear the ground without cheating and using his lower body. This is really, really good stuff. And like some of our other explosive work, we're not going until the muscles totally fail and he can't move. We wanna make sure we're staying just as explosive for the reps that we have indicated. And then again, we're gonna rest a little bit longer. So that was our first work set. We're gonna do two more here. Ready? Yep, set two, here we go. Okay, so something I wanna draw attention to here is notice how softly Kynan lands. Anytime we're moving explosively, we want to absorb force effectively, not stiffly. So go ahead and get into this set. And notice how he absorbs his body weight. He's not landing with stiff joints. He's landing with his arms bent and absorbing his body weight. That's ideal. And it's going to translate very well to the mats. Anytime we have to absorb our body weight, sometimes we uh, get thrown towards the mat faster than we'd like. We need to explosively absorb that weight instead of distributing it to our joints. Oh, otherwise someone gonna do it. Break just their arm. Stand with the arm right. Okay, so. I know I'm a lot taller than Kynan, much, much taller. Okay, so here um, we're going to, it's gonna be in two parts. We're going to step off and absorb our weight and then explode to one side. Like a lot of these other explosive motions, we want to land softly and absorb our weight, right? So I'm gonna step off with my right leg. When I do so, I'm gonna load my body weight up over that right side because I'm gonna push off and jump to my left. So I step forward and load up here and explode to the side. Notice both when I landed there and here, I landed softly. I didn't slam my feet into the ground. As you go, always start with trying to land well first. And once you're landing well, then you can focus on exploding more. So first we just step off, absorb and jump across. 
As you get more comfortable with that, really focus on trying to jump further or higher. All right, and then for me go up sideways, I need to use a lot of my arms, right? And yes, lead with your arms and your body will follow, All right. okay? So let's let him get some practice reps in first and then we'll go into the actual set. Good, but did you hear how that first one was like a big yes. stomp? Try to land like a ninja. Better, better. Good, arms are coming late. As you step off, you're already loading. Boom. All right. Right? Boom. Excellent, excellent. All right, we, uh, you ready to actually get into it? Yes. What we're gonna do here is do four reps on each side, but do all four on one side first so you can get a rhythm, and then we'll do all four to the other. So step one, let's go ahead and step off and land lightly both, both times. To the right leg. Good, let's land a little bit more lightly here. Excellent, that's two, we got two more. Now try to get off that front of that first foot a little faster, don't get stuck there. Way better, way better. One more, nice and quickly off that first foot. Excellent. Now, same thing to the other side. So same thing, we're gonna step off to that left leg now. Load. Good, land softly right. and absorb your body weight. It's a little weird when we switch sides at first. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Step off, load, perfect. Load up, good. Now one more time, when you step off to the left leg, absorb and bounce off faster. Excellent. Do one more, a little bit faster off that first leg. Don't get stuck with it on the ground, spring off of it. Yes, perfect. Perfect, so rest a little bit. We got four on each side. Like these other exercises, we wanna make sure that we're moving very quickly. If we have too short of rest, you're not gonna be moving quickly and absorbing your weight. I well. can't stay, like, land and stay for so long, right? Correct. I need We've, to touch the floor and then. Exactly, right? We wanna make contact and produce force quickly. Okay, so now that we've already gotten some safety down and can land softly, what we really wanna draw attention to is when we step off with that first foot, we wanna spend as little time on the ground as possible, right? Think of like adjusting yourself as someone's trying to off balance you. You don't wanna keep your foot there too long. You wanna make that adjustment and push off quickly. So step off, absorb your body weight and explode quickly, right? That first foot can't spend very long on the ground. Same thing, four reps. Perfect, perfect. Do that three more times. Good. Nice. Try to coil your body a little more. Land and absorb so that you can explode more to the side. Yes. Perfect. Last one. Perfect. Same thing to the other side. Now, usually that first one on the other side is gonna feel a little weird, so ease into it, land softly. Good. Now, for these next reps, we got three more. Try to really explode off that leg and spend as little time on the ground as possible. Excellent, even shorter on the ground. Focus on how long that left foot is on the, on the ground. Good, way better, one more. Perfect, perfect, cool, done with that. Now we have deficit Bulgarian split squats. This is really important because this is our only true strength exercise for the day. So take some of the things we talk about in terms of selecting the right weight and apply this to all of the other strength exercises across the program. So Kynan's gonna get set up here. We have a stepper as a deficit for his front leg. We have uh, something to elevate his back leg. And if you have a weaker leg, you're gonna start with that leg. If you're not sure, you can start with your non-dominant leg. So Kynan will start and go nice and deep. And he did a few things really well here. Go ahead and keep going with body weight. We're gonna do eight on each side. Excellent, so something I wanna draw attention to, his back knee is going nice and low. It's actually going lower than the deficit, which is perfect. These sharp joint angles are very specific to jujitsu. The other thing he's doing very well is keeping his weight on the lead leg. And if that means the knee passing the toe, that's just fine. What we really don't wanna have happen is that as he goes down, we don't want his butt to get too close to that back leg. We wanna keep our weight on the lead leg. So he's doing that great here. Go ahead and switch legs. Now for Kynan, body weight is just a ramp up. Go ahead and start going on this side. So this is an extension of his warm up. It's something very specific 
to uh, the exercise that we're going to be doing maximally. Keep going until you get to eight. I think you've got three or four so far. Good. So if you don't know what weight you're gonna use, start with body weight. And as soon as you finish the set, you're gonna ask yourself how many more reps you think you could have done until you failed. Nice, one more rep here, Kevin. Cool, so let's ask that exact question. How many more reps do you think you could have done until you failed entirely? Five more. That's it? Or a little bit more. Huh? Maybe a little more than that. More. But that's just fine. We're gonna really refine this skill as we go. So next, we're gonna rest a little bit and grab dumbbells. And we're gonna keep going until we get within five reps of failure. And that we're going to call a work set. And then also here to find my balance, I like to move to a point. Out in front, yes. Something that's not up, but also not straight down. Something out and slightly in front of you. Right, right. So for good balance, generally something that's not moving. Yeah. Cool. Grab uh, 25s. And rest a little. We don't, we don't need to go into it quite yet. So for the deficit Bulgarian split squat, we wanna make sure that our knee is dropping lower than the deficit. We wanna take advantage of the fact that we're elevating that front leg. That difference is really gonna be highlighted between month one and two, because in month one, we won't have the deficit. You won't have that front foot elevated. So in month two, if we really want the, uh, the exercise to be a progression, to be a more difficult variation, we have to make sure that we descend super low. And you'll feel a bit of a stretch through different joints in your lower body. This is ideal. This is how we train those deep joint angles that are really going to translate to success in jujitsu. So after that first ramp up of body weight, we now grabbed 25 pound dumbbells for Kynan. And we're gonna go through the eight reps here. So here, he's still descending over that front leg. He's dropping that back knee lower than the deficit and really taking advantage of this huge range of motion. Something that you'll notice is that this will be much harder with the deficit month two than it was without it month one. So you may have to go lighter weight-wise. Cool, switch sides. Excellent, and here we can really see that Kynan's butt isn't getting too close to that back foot. He's keeping his weight over that lead leg so that he's really targeting that one side more than the other. Also something that's super applicable to jujitsu. Nice. How many more reps do you think you could have done until you failed entirely? Seven, cool. So this would still be a ramp up. Anything where we're not getting within five reps of failure for a strength exercise, we wanna make sure to add weight until we get to something that's within five reps of failure. Ideally, closer to two reps from failure. So we're gonna go up and wait a little bit. These are tough, right? I would start with the weight at the top, like, like this, and then reach back with your leg, yes. So start there, reach back, put your foot on top, perfect. Good, so even though we're going heavier, he's still doing a really good job of not letting that butt and foot get too close together. He's keeping all of his weight on that lead leg. That's ideal, that's what we're looking for. Some people, when they're doing it wrong, will almost sit on this back leg and it takes too much weight off the front leg. We wanna really get a good stretch through those joints, but also load them so we can build mobility. Cool, so how many more reps do you think you could have done until you failed here? Cool. That is, that's perfect for a work set. Anything within five reps of failure is going to stimulate change in the body. So during those strength exercises, you're going to ramp up like we did here. We did body weight, we did 25s. Neither of those were really within five reps of failure. As soon as we got within five reps of failure, that's the first one that we would write down on our sheet and aim to do that two more times. All right, perfect guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video until the end. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. And if you guys have any question, just ask Alex Turner and he will be answering you guys. Yeah, so be sure to like, subscribe, share the video with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to both of our YouTube channels. We're really trying to share a lot of uh, good content. And check out uh, today's Modern Grappler. Um, it's our new project between myself and kind of, we put a lot of effort in, there's a lot of good info in there, and we hope to hear from you guys soon. Hello. Hello.